The majority of Puerto Rico was without power on Sunday due to Hurricane Fiona, which also closed catastrophic flooding and landslides on the island before making its way toward the Dominican Republic. Five years after Hurricane Maria devastated the island, a storm hit Puerto Rico that tore up roads asphalt, destroyed a significant bridge, shut down airports, flooded cars and dumped so much rain that some rivers rose 20 feet in a matter of hours. I have lots of water, snacks, canned meat, not so many um, perishables, um, mostly non-perishables I purchased for the storm. My doors, because I am right on South Shore, mm -hmm. like there, right. and up high, so my patio doors, or my veranda doors, whatever, are already boarded up. They've been boarded since Tuesday. U.S. President Joe Biden pledged support to Puerto Rico on Thursday at a meeting with the federal emergency officials on the sideline of the United Nations together, General Assembly. We're all in this together, I promise you, Gov. This, we're not, we don't view this as some distant problem. And uh, power is slowly returning, but it's returning. And more help is coming from the utilities and, and the mainland. And we've got water and other supplies available as well. And there's still dozens of shelters that are still available and open. While Puerto Rico struggles to recover from the hurricane, which dumped up to 30 inches of rain in some areas, neither local nor federal government officials have offered any estimates of the storm's damage. According to the U.S. National Hurricane Center, Fiona was expected to pass close to Bermuda early Friday before making landfall early on Saturday in eastern Canada.